breaking right now from Queen City News. A historic moment in American history. Within the last 30 minutes, the House January 6th committee voted to subpoena former President Donald Trump to testify before the committee. That committee says that the president is required to answer for his actions that day. So this afternoon, I am offering this resolution that the committee direct the chairman to issue a subpoena for relevant documents and testimony under oath from Donald John Trump in connection with the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. General Lady yields back. If there's no further debate, the question is on agreeing to the resolution. Those in favor will say aye. 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 Those opposed is no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Mr. Chairman, I request a recorded vote. A recorded vote is requested. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Cheney. Aye. Ms. Cheney, aye. Ms. Lofgren. Aye. Ms. Lofgren, aye. Mr. Schiff? Aye. Mr. Schiff, aye. Mr. Aguilar? Aye. Mr. Aguilar, aye. Mrs. Murphy? Aye. Mrs. Murphy, aye. Mr. Raskin? Aye. Mr. Raskin, aye. Mrs. Luria? Aye. Mrs. Luria, aye. Mr. Kinzinger? Kinzinger, aye. Mr. Kinzinger, aye. Mr. Chairman? Aye. Mr. Chairman, aye. The clerk will report the vote. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, there are nine ayes and zero noes. So that vote happened at the end of the final public hearing from the committee investigating the attack on January 6th. Lawmakers on the panel focusing today on former President Trump's efforts to disrupt the transition of power. They showed evidence that they say supports the claim that the former president was going to say that the election was rigged even before Election Day. The committee sh says that it's clear that the former president was behind the insurrection at the Capitol complex. What Donald Trump proceeded to do after the 2020 election is something no president has done before in our country. In a staggering betrayal of his oath, Donald Trump attempted a plan that led to an attack on a pillar of our democracy. It's still hard to believe. The committee conducted more than 1,500 interviews and obtained countless documents in its investigation into January 6th. So far, there hasn't been any public comment from the former president.